silver and gold are on the rise again. The reason they're on the rise again is like I was saying, with everything going up on in Europe, there's gonna be some massive bailouts. I've been talking about this for a couple of weeks. You know, I tweeted a couple of weeks ago, massive bailouts coming to Europe. You know, this is gonna this is gonna make precious metals go up again. You know, and gold's up like 70 bucks in the last couple of days. Silver uh, is up a couple dollars just in the last couple of days. And so it's, it's pretty insane. And you know, the stock market's up as well as a result of, uh, of all this. And those are usually things you're gonna see when you see bailouts. Um, stock market usually kind of up and down, but gold and silver, you know, when there's, when there's fear about the overall economy and currencies, you know, that's always gonna be good for precious metal. A lot of, there's been a lot more talk about manipulation and um, I heard a video the other day from a guy I actually respect quite a bit, but he was saying market manipulation doesn't affect the price of gold and silver. And I, I couldn't disagree more. You know, silver was at $50 back in April. And it dropped to $33 when margin requirements are hiked. Basically what happens is people that invest on margin, meaning they borrow money to buy more gold and silver paper shares so they can invest more, you have to deposit so much so much money and when, when uh, the market gets volatile and has big swings up or down, then they make you deposit more money to cover your position on the money that you're borrowing. So when, peop when, that, when that requirement gets raised and people have to deposit more money, if they don't have more money, they automatically sell the shares. And that creates huge sell-offs and then those huge sell-offs by people that have to, drop the market. Computers for, for big hedge funds and mutual funds are set that when, when market goes up so much they'll buy, when it goes down so much they'll sell, and vice versa depending on the situation. Well, when everybody sells and that and it creates a huge you know downswing in the price of gold or silver, that's gonna trigger the computers to sell and then you see massive sell-offs from big hedge funds and mutual funds and you, and you see things like the price of silver drop from $50 to $33 you know, and basically overnight. And that's what we saw back in April. So then here just a couple weeks ago, uh, silver had climbed back up to about $42 and we saw it drop to $29 overnight. What the f- It was the exact same thing, hiked margin requirements. So anyways, my point being that when people say, well, there's so much silver out there and it's not traders that have an effect on the uh, physical price. Oh. And the reality of it is it gets combated by premiums rising on physical gold and silver, and I've done a video on that too. When margin requirements get jacked up and people have to sell their shares, the paper price drops a ton, and people probably shouldn't, but people watch the paper price of silver and believe that it's the same thing as the physical price of silver. So therefore, when the price of the SLV uh, drops, which is the paper share for silver, significantly, usually the spot price for physical silver drops, roughly the same. I'm not saying it should, but that's the way it works. It's big time manipulation of the whole market by the paper market. I mean, I mean manipulation of the physical market by the paper market. So, I mean, it's just the same stuff. It's, there's so much manipulation and it's all caused by derivatives. Warren Buffett even himself described uh, derivatives as weapons of mass destruction. We're gonna see big bailouts. Uh, all the officials of all the countries in Europe are, are talking probably right now about what they're gonna do. But what we're gonna see is a big bailout in Europe, just like we've already seen in Greece and Spain and Ireland and all the in, in the United States. So, you know, the same trend that I've been talking about for years is still happening. Governments are printing money because everything's tied to the dollar, and we're printing. And you know, the dollar's getting printed up like there's no frickin' tomorrow. So the bottom line is that um, the dollar, the euro, and probably the yuan are all gonna just keep dropping and dropping and dropping, which is gonna increase the uh, price of precious metals. Basically a race to zero of all the currencies, you know? Everybody's trying to put more money into the system to artificially uh, lower the price of their imports and, and artificially raise the price of exports into that country. This isn't good for anybody. It's just, it's manipulation and derivatives just, just crucifying our way of life and our quality of life, not only here in America, but in the rest of the world too. So, I know it's crazy. The middle class and the poor are being wiped out. It's been happening and, and you know, I don't know. I mean, maybe Ron Paul can change the system if we're smart enough to elect him, 
but you know, even if he goes into the White House, you know, it's a system that's been going on for a hundred years, and the banking system's been going on even longer than that. It's just we let it into our country a hundred years ago. So, you know, probably the best thing we can do as individuals is to educate ourselves and um, try to offer value to society. And uh, because at this point we are still at least somewhat capitalist, you know, we'll be rewarded by uh, how much value we put into society and by dollars flowing towards us. So, you know, like I always say, cash flow is the name of the game. Anyways, that's my rant. I hope you guys have a good week. Um, try to try to keep the videos coming a little bit more now like I said I was just really busy with the wedding and everything so we'll talk soon and while I even know you go, go, you still got love. Love.